It's good to welcome back to the show Chad Bailey. Chad's the owner of Canine Detection Services in Evansville. And you've got so much going on over there. We do. Yeah. Let's talk about the obedience training piece of what you do. The obedience training is, is really booming right now. Um, so many people are, you know, wanting the foundation put on their dogs. And, you know, and we do that. And we give them, the owners, the tools when they come back to pick up their dog. We kind of teach them how to keep up on that training. So we go through, a, send them through a two-week course. Uh, they stay at our kennel for the full two weeks. Um, we have a trainer that works with them um, multiple times each day. And uh, then at the end of that training, we'll bring the owner in. Uh, the owner sees the progress, actually works with their dog, and then we give them the tools to, to continue on the training when they get home. You're sort of training the owners as well, aren't you? Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's always the hardest part, honestly. Well, so. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Is there a, a better time, a better window of opportunity of training a dog as far as age is concerned? No, not really. I mean, we always say, you know, about four months starting them on that is ideally a good age to start at. But after that, pretty much any age, you can bring them in and we can, we can work with them. So, so you can teach old dogs new tricks? You can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what yeah. do most people want when they're looking for obedience training? What, is, what are their expectations? Well, they just want them to listen to them. You know, that's, their, that's the biggest complaint we get when they tell them to do something. But, you know, dogs are a lot like kids. And, um, you know, the, the best piece of advice I give everybody um, when they come through with our dog training is, uh, you tell a dog one time and then you, you make them do it if they don't. So, you know, if you ever see someone and they're telling their dog to sit, you know, it should just be the one time. If it's over and over and over, you're teaching the dog that it's okay to not listen to you. So um, that's one of the things that, you know, we kind of work with. And uh, kids are the exact same way. Well, sure. You know, um, you tell them you're going to do something if they don't do that. And then you give them more opportunities, they're going to keep pushing that envelope as as far as they can push it. Dogs are the same way. Well, so. sure. It just makes sense. And so, yeah. again, training the owners to right. follow yeah. through. Yeah. For, okay. And that's why we keep them at the kennel for the two weeks. You know, um, we don't let them go home. You know, they stay with us the entire two weeks. So they get in our routine and not, you know, the routine that they're, they're used to. Do you have some people have to come back for a refresher? Uh, because no. the owner's not doing it? Well, that's good. No, but what we do is uh, if we have trained the dog, if you bring it into board, we'll actually work with the dog that day as well. So, you know, we keep them fresh on their training with that. Well, let's change subjects here. It's not one we want to talk about, but it's a big deal. Bed bugs, and are they on the rise? Bed bugs are on the rise. They are a big problem right now. Um, we're seeing them everywhere. Um, small infestations, large infestations. Um, you know, we had a, a home that we went into and checked um, on the north side of Evansville um, not too long ago, and it was really bad. The guy had thought he just had them for around five weeks, maybe, you know. Um, he had just noticed them last week, and um, we go in, and, you know, I had to tell him that he's had them for about five months. But they hide so well that, you know, People just don't know where to look for them or how to look for them. Um, and then if you have that small infestation, they're, they're impossible to find. And that's when the dogs are utilized to come in. You know, um, just a week ago, we found um, one piece of furniture that just had one bed bug is all we could find that the dog had indicated on. But that's amazing that it just found one. Because just one. that's how acute their sense yeah. is, right? That's We're right. Training that smell. Right. And if it's a female, that's all it takes. I mean, your infestation can grow, you know. Pretty rapidly. So. Well, thank you for what you do. Yeah. For all of us, thanks. Chad Bailey, Canine Detection Services. If you need training, if you need to make sure you don't have bed bugs, this is the company to we call. We also do house calls. And they do house calls. Yeah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this day. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Canine Detection.